The Fox and a Crane Once in a jungle, there lived a fox. A crane was his best friend. One day, the fox invited the crane to dinner. The crane came, hoping to feast on some delicious dish. The fox placed two shallow dishes containing delicious soup on the ground. Come, my friend said the fox and have a hearty meal and he started lapping the soup greedily with his tongue the crane kept quiet he could only dip the tip of his long beak in the soup and could hardly have a taste of it the crane felt insulted but stayed calm. He said, You have been very kind to me today. Would you please come to my house tomorrow and dine with me? The fox agreed readily. Next day, the fox arrived promptly at the time that had been set and the stork served a fish dinner but it was served in a tall jar with a very narrow neck. Come on, my friend, said the crane and have a hearty meal. The stork easily got at the food with his long bill. But all the fox could do was to lick the outside of the jar. Moral As you sow, so shall you reap. The Salt Merchant and His Donkey Long ago, there lived a merchant. He used to deal in salt. He had a donkey who was very lazy and always hesitant of doing work. The merchant used to load the salt bags on the back of the donkey to sell in the market. On the way, there was a river. One day, the merchant and his donkey were on their way to the market. While crossing the river, the donkey accidentally slipped and fell into the river. A lot of salt in the bags got dissolved in the water.
When the donkey got up, the load became very light. The donkey was happy. From that day, whenever the merchant and the donkey were on the bridge, the donkey knowingly slipped and fell into the river. The merchant was wise enough to know the donkey's trick. He thought, I must teach this donkey a lesson so that he doesn't do this again. The next day, the merchant loaded the donkey with sacks filled with cotton and set off for the market. As they were crossing the river, the donkey once again repeated the same trick. This time, the cotton absorbed the water, became heavier and started pulling the donkey down with its weight. The donkey found it very hard to cross the river with a load of soaked cottons. The donkey eventually realized his mistake. He thought that it was not good to play tricks. The merchant had taught the donkey a good lesson. Moral You can fool a person only few times but not always. <laughs>